Hey guys, it's Quaker from Gridit and I'm going to be showing you how to use Gridit's Logo Grid Generator. So Logo Grid Generator is an Adobe Illustrator extension. So once you download it, when you go into Adobe Illustrator, you can find it in Windows, Extensions and then Gridit. And when you open Gridit, you can see Logo Grid Generator. You'll typically find it floating around, but I actually like to put it in the dock to make it feel like it's a part of Adobe Illustrator. So um, you can just place up there, up up top and not to be biased, but I actually use it all the time um, just because I'm a logo designer. So I find it extremely useful. So now it's up top. You can just simply generate. But before you generate, when you select the logo, you can see there's only one piece selected. You want to make sure the logo is united. You can do the same with group, but better results is you'll see better results once you unite the logo. So now, now that logo is united, what you can do is just simply generate all and instantly it will just create this grid. If you want to generate separate components, you can simply select the logo. You can choose anchors, outlines or grid lines, and then you can just do generate, not generate all just because you're selecting a few components. Once you select them, you can just do generate. So when you generate, if you just go to layers, you can see that there are some layers here. So let's go back and generate all. You can see there are a few layers, there's anchors, handles, grid lines, outlines, and there's also the base layer. The base layer is, is where your logo is. So if you want to customize a specific layer, instead of just clicking on outlines and selecting, um, sorry, let's say grid lines and selecting all the grid lines, what you can do is just use the target layer. So not everyone knows about the target layer, but the target layer selects all vectors within a layer. So you can quickly do that. And then you can just, for example, customize it to have a black outline instead of gray. And you can also do the same with anchors. And then if you go to properties and let's say you increase the stroke for those anchors. So it looks like this. So that's another way how you can quickly customize it. There's also another tutorial on how to customize a grid, which you can see in the corner of the screen now, hopefully. Um, next we have unchecking. So we have another button that we haven't mentioned, and this is the, the restart button. So when this button's cl clicked, it doesn't necessarily restart the whole grid. Instead, it re restarts the selections of the button. So it will just uncheck all of these buttons. If you want to restart the whole grid, you can just simply do control Z until you go back to the beginning. But let's say you finally got a grid that you like and you just want to export it. I typically find the best results to do so is go to export, export for screens, and then you would do scale for X as a PNG. And this just makes the grid lines, especially as they're so thin, um, depending on what size you put them, and also the anchors and the handles, it makes them appear more crisp, especially when you're posting on Instagram or sharing um, your your grid as a portfolio project or just as a PNG. So you would want to do export and then export artboards. So make sure the scale for X is on. And that's really it. It's a very simple extension, and that's how you use Logo Grid Generator.